Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 9 of my GM mode here on WWE 2K23. As today we are going to complete the build to the Extreme Rules PLE as it has not been the best of, of a run so far. As you can see the gap is as big as ever between us and Friday Night Smackdown. So today we're going to mix up the strategy a little bit. We're going to really try to take it to Friday Night Smackdown including hinder them and try to close that gap for our next PLE because it hasn't been easy for us either. We don't have the best builds going into this show. We'll see if we can put it all together in the coming weeks and have the best PLE that we can. I hope you guys are ready for this one. If you are, make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more my GM content. As well, if you're interested in some rogue energy, you can use the referral link in all of my descriptions and code Mr. Rob and receive 10% off your next rogue energy purchase. But that's enough of the prelude. Let's get into the actual show. And before I show you the book show that I have, let's take a look at our power cards because we have a lot on the table here. We have This Is War. We have Limited Stock, Contract Negotiation, Veto Random Superstar, Double the Cost to the Moon, and then some free booking stuff. But we have a lot of opportunities to really just take it to SmackDown. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're really going to try to take them out and I'm going to activate the special one we got for being Monday Night Raw all that time back. This is War which allows an opposing brand to have three randomly selected superstars that cannot be booked in matches next week and it is since it is not the week before PLE that is next week I think this is the best time to use it because you can't use it next week so let's do it here hopefully it kind of hindered their build towards that show and we will have them not be able to book three random superstars does it show us who it does not so hopefully those are their champions and their top pieces so we'll do that and then i also want to do another thing i want to double their cost for shows this week we have four of these so why not do it in these coming weeks to this ple so let's activate that as well have them have to double their show and really try to hinder our competition as that will hopefully help us close the gap but that's what we've done to hinder them let's take a look at what we're doing to help us out this week with tonight's show and this is what i have lined up we're going to start off with the opener shinsuke nakamura and kevin owens this is a rivalry that started in last episode they are now up to a level two and i want to get the show started off hot so we're going to have them to go at it logan paul is somebody we signed a couple episodes ago I haven't really done anything with him but i am going to change his role to a face and i'll touch more on that in just a minute as to why i am turning him into a baby face in the mid-card, we have Sami Zayn and Kofi Kingston teaming up to face Gunther and Braun Strowman. Gunther, in his last promise, wanted a Hell in a Cell match I never delivered, and I don't want to make him mad again because now he wants to team with Braun Strowman. So I said, yeah, let's make you happy. And this is a very good mid-card match because, one, it's Giants versus Cruisers, which is a good matchup, and two, it's two rivalries at the same time. Gunther is currently feuding with Sami Zayn, and Kofi Kingston is currently feuding with Braun Strowman, so it helps advance both those rivalries at the same time. So hopefully that's a win-win for us. Jey Uso, we promised him a self-promo, so that's why he's going to cut that one. And then Rhea Ripley will take on Raquel Rodriguez in a mid-card match. I'm kind of short on women right now. It, the division's kind of in a hold state, so that's just kind of a match to get both of them on. Hopefully get Rhea a win and keep her popularity from not dipping too far again. Carmelo cut a role change promo because we touched on last episode. She's one of our new signings. I want her to feud with Rhea Ripley, so once we turn her baby face, we'll start that Ripley-Carmelo feud. And then our main events, Reigns will team up with Jimmy Uso to take on Rated RKO. Reigns in this match, I want to get him more involved because I don't want to see his popularity continue to dip. And the plan for him is because last episode he did finish his feud with Rey Mysterio in that submissions match. I want to feud Reigns with Logan Paul. Now, one's a bruiser and one's a fighter. And that's a good combination. And I guess Paul only has 49 pop, but I did activate a power card in him, that to the moon card. So the next match he has, his popularity gains by 15. So he will be right up there with Roman. It'll be a short build. It'll kind of be hot shotted, but that is the plan for that one. And hopefully that'll be our next WWE Championship feud for Extreme Rules and hopefully beyond. I don't want to cut that one short as I need that one to kind of drag on a little bit. But that's our show this week. Let's go ahead and confirm it and hopefully really hinder SmackDown this week. That is the goal is to just take them out. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens, the opening match of our show. And Owens picks up the victory in their first chapter in a two and a half star match. Only okay. It does grow to three stars. Level three rivalry though, so that's good. Good promo by Logan Paul. He does turn face, so that was mission accomplished. 
the tag match, Kingston and Zayn versus Gunther in Braun Strowman. And the winners are the Giants. They do crush the smaller competitors in a three-star match. That's good. And it starts a new tag team rivalry if we want to go down that route. But that was a good three-star mid-card match. So not, not too bad so far. Uso cuts a excellent promo. Let's go, Jay. Main event, Jay, with the five popularity boosts. That's what we love to see. Ripley versus Rodriguez is where I'm afraid it might go a little downhill. Ripley does pick up the victories, which we wanted, and it was only a two-star match, so not the best mid-card that we like. Carmella does turn face, so that's good for her. And then our main event tag team match, Jimmy and Reigns versus Orton and Edge. Orton fresh off of his injury. He takes the loss of so the button line, is victorious, and only a two-and-a-half-star match, so a little bit of a disappointing main event. But hopefully we had a pretty good show, and hopefully SmackDown gets hindered this week, as this is what they have on the table. We didn't get these superstars to be, it looks like, hindered. His theory will take on R-Truth in a rivalry match. R-Truth is victorious in that one. I wonder if it's three-star, if it kicks in for the next show. Because R it doesn't look like it really got anybody that was blocked. As Ivar is okay. Ford and Robert Roode in their rivalry match. Also a tables match, mind you. Ford puts Roode through the table with a three-star match, so SmackDown continues to do well. Cena cuts a good promo, only gains two pop for the Universal Champion. Baszler and Zia Lee, this rivalry is still going on. These are some long rivalries on SmackDown, and that was a three-star match. Zia Lee continues to perform. And they're gonna crown Women's Tag Team Champions. Now, this is something that any brand could have done. I could have crowned Women's Tag Team Champions if I wanted to, I did not want to. I don't think we have the depth for that division. So they're gonna go ahead and capitalize and they're going to have Women's Tag Team Champions. That is a stacked popularity list. And their first are Dolan and Bliss, and they get four stars. So don't think we hindered SmackDown this week at all, as they still ended up pulling out the victory, as we just didn't have a good opening. Just nothing really stood out for us on this show. And because of that, we only gained 32,000 fans, while on the flip side, SmackDown, they gained 48,000 fans. So that's not good. But we do get a GM interference book this show. We'll provide an additional two-star, two-show bonus and a free to book this week. Now, it's, that is a double-edged sword. A GM interference is not a good thing. But the gap is officially over 100,000 fans, so that's not good in the final week before Extreme Rules. Kurt Angle said, hey, what was that stunt you pulled last week? So we did get three superstars for them that they couldn't use. I couldn't tell you who they were. They still had a phenomenal match. Uh, it had to be done. You would have done the same if you were in my position, Kurt. And he said, you're right, I would have, and I will. You better watch out. Uh-oh. Hopefully they don't do one on us. Jimmy says, I've had enough crap. Working at Raw has been a complete joke. Jimmy wants to go. You refused to pay me any loyalty bonus before, but nothing else is going to cut it. The only way you convinced me to stay is with $100,000. Otherwise, Jimmy is gone. $100,000 for Jimmy Uso. Well, that is a steep price to pay. Jimmy wants a bonus. I didn't want to give him 50k, so there's no chance I'm going to give him 100k, which that sucks because that cuts our Uso rivalry down. And Jay is left now without his tag team partner, so that is very, very interesting. I've had the Usos feuding with Rated RKO for basically this entire series. So maybe this could be a little bit of a blessing in disguise. Maybe this frees up Jay. We can get a new tag team feud going because Jay did just cut it out. Sensational promo. So that's interesting, but I'm sorry, Jimmy. You can go ahead and go. I figured as much goodbye then. Jimmy has said goodbye. And if you can keep your money, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I was going to do that anyway. I did get a power card pre-match. Physio reduces the probability that the superstar will become injured in a match. Gunther said, I told you, Braun and I really hit it off as a tag team last week. Thanks for pairing us up. We're looking forward to the next tag match. So, Gunther and Strowman, we replaced one team of the Usos with another team in Gunther and Strowman. Did you hear the crowd last week? And we got our first tag team win. I knew Strowman and I would kill it. You could just keep putting us in tag matches and you'll keep delivering the ratings. Well, I love to see because he did put it on a three star match. Glad you're looking out for me. Let's keep this up. So, do we transition into a Gunther and Strowman tag team rapper? Maybe we do. But that is the first half of our show. The gap increased and we just lost Jimmy. No, oh, no, it's not good so far. That This is War didn't do nothing. We just fired like one shot at him and they just still blew us out of the water. 
Oh well, let's try to continue to do it. Let's activate some more power cards and get it going. We'll still do the double the cost, have to double their shows, as well as I'm going to do Vito Random 1 Superstar for next week's show. I might save that actually. Well, actually, we'll go ahead. Let's Vito 1 Random Superstar continue to hinder them. All right, this one took me a while to book just because I wanted to really hit home before Extreme Rules. So this is what we've put together. I'm a little hesitant, but we're going to start off with the United States Championship being on the line. Rey Mysterio will take on Braun Strowman. This is, I know, an interesting match, but with the Gunther and Strowman pairing working so well, I'm kind of hoping Rey Mysterio takes the championship off of Strowman and we can maybe pivot away from Rated RKO and the Usos to maybe Rated RKO and Strowman and Gunther. So we'll see if Mysterio can win the United States Championship there. Asuka's going to cut a self-promo. She's not been involved a lot recently despite being champ, so I don't want her to kind of get lost in the shuffle. I do have plans for her, but we'll have to save those for the PLE. Logan Paul will take on Roman Reigns. This will get their rivalry to at least a level one, as well as Paul jumping in popularity after this match, thanks to the two to the moon power card. Randy Orton will call out Braun Strowman to maybe get that feud ready for their tag team encounters. Gunther versus Kobe Kingston. Zayn will run in on Gunther. I do want to continue Gunther and Zayn to at least finish the rivalry maybe at the PLE, so he'll run in on Gunther. Edge will call out Jay Uso after Jay's great sell promo last week. Well, it's time for Edge to call out Main Event Jay and put their feud hopefully maybe to rest soon. And then Main Event is a tables match. Nakamura and Owens level 3 rivalry. I wanted to at least put our highest level rivalry in a spot, so we're going to get a little bit of an extreme rule preview when we have them take on in a tables match. So, Let's go ahead and confirm this show. And hopefully deliver. We'll start off with the United States Championship. Can we crown a new champ? We do. Rey Mysterio wins the United States Championship. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. And it was a four-star match. So, all right. A good start to the show. Rey Mysterio, your new United States Champion. Asuka's self-promo gave her two popularity. So, that's good. So, she, exactly what was it rated, actually. So, that gets her popularity up. Paul will take on Roman Reigns non-title, and Roman Reigns is victorious in a two-star match, but that rivalry now has started. Orton calls out Strowman. It was okay, but it gets it to a level one. Gunther's going to get run in on by Sami Zayn, and it gives him still the victory, though, as it was two-star match, but Zayn did run in on Gunther, so that keeps that going. Edge will call out Jey Uso. That's a level two, so we might actually not have the Tag Team Championships on the PLE. So that might just do an Edge Jey Uso match because they're at a level two now. And then our main event tables match, hopefully to deliver, and it's Kevin Owens who puts Nakamura through a table in a three-star match. So our best match was the opening show, our opening match on the show. Here's what they did. Another, they did their own tables match. So again, SmackDown copies us, and it works out because it was a four-star match. So I, they just counter everything we do MVP goes up to popularity Gigi Dolan and Becky Lynch in their matchup Dolan picks up the win in a three and a half star match so good win for her Rude will take on Brute will team up with Brute Force so a new guy will take it against Ivar and Ford and Brute Force actually gets the victory along with Robert Rude in a two and a half star match and their main event triple threat match they did this match I'm pretty sure last week and it is our truth picks up the victory in a three-star match. So SmackDown is just continuing to rinse, slather, and repeat their way to victories all across the show. If it weren't for their four-star main event or opener, we would have done really well this week. But we gained 35,000 fans. We have a lot of money to play with too, and they gained 51. So it doesn't seem like our sort of mission of slandering the other brand has really paid off. So. Again, another strategy down the toilet, but we really got to deliver this week in our Extreme Rules PLE. Before we get there, we have a lot to cover in terms of our messages. Triple H says, I've got a lucrative deal for you. Owens is getting pretty popular, and a major studio approached us to have him star in a movie. The deal's simple. Kevin shoots the pictures for three weeks, and Raw gets $1.04 million? Whoa. The downside is that Owens won't be able to do any shows while he's shooting, but he might come back even more popular if the movie does well. Oh my lord. This is huge. He gets to star in a movie. I had him on a three-star feud, though, with Nakamura, and that was supposed to be a big match here at Extreme Rules. That really stinks, but a million dollars? I don't know if I could pass that up. I'm going to take the gamble. We need, we need the gamble. Like, we have to. So even if I can't use Owens for Extreme Rules, we need the money. We need the potential popularity boost. 
So we got to let Owens go shoot a movie. We have to. So hopefully that pays off. This is going to be quite a payday for your brand. I really hope so. Kobe Kingston, hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. Uh, I'm not really going to renew it. 51000 It's actually not bad. So, yeah, actually, I will give him a, a $51,000. We'll keep Kofi on the roster. Logan Paul's contract is also up. He wants 34000 Yeah, I will. That is okay. We'll keep Logan Paul around for thirty-four k. Ray Mysterio, hey, my contract is up. I have a lot of contracts up, and he just won the United States Championship. 102! I'm actually going to... I have authorization to extend your card. I'm going to use a power card on that one. So Ray will continue to, to stay with us. Triple H, just a quick reminder, your fans want to see great matches. They also want to show with a lot of variety in his fights. Yeah, so I guess they've been the one bad side. I haven't really booked a lot of fights. To max with a lot of stipulations. To maximize your variety bonus, have at least one tag match and one solo match. Book both book both male and female superstars in your fights and use superstars to make all five fighting classes around the match card. So maybe that is what we need. Maybe we just need a little bit more variety. Akira Tozawa says, I've had enough crap working at Raw has been a joke. So another guy who wants to leave Tozawa. Yeah, oh, not even... Yeah, that's not going to happen. $100,000? Bye. Bye, Tazawa. Bye. <laughs> Gunther, that loser is saying, attack me during the last fight. I'm going to stand for garbage like that. He, Gunther loves hitting our DMs. He's always got us in his straight messages. I want to sell things with the ring with him in the next three weeks. That's fine, because we'll do that match then at, at the Extreme Rules PLE. So He pays the price. So that'll do the build. Hasn't been the best build to Extreme Rules, but hopefully... We can capitalize and book a good PLE because that has been where we have really done our best at is these PLEs and we need a good PLE because it's not been easy. But that is it for this one. Next up is the Extreme Rules PLE. Hope you guys are ready for that one. If you are, make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more wrestling content. This is Mr. Raw and I'll see you in the next one.